it's pretty hard when you come back and, and it doesn't mean you don't, don't even have to be up there nine months like my other missions were six and five months and you do feel pretty uh nauseous when you first get back it's just that inner ear neural vestibular feeling for the first like 24 to 48 hours and I knew, having gone up twice before, that it was just a matter of time. So I was like, just push through it. <laughs> you got this. I mean, just make yourself get up. Make yourself go take a shower and just push over those things and make yourself walk down a, you know, on a line to just work on all of those little small agility muscles. I, our trainers are doing that with us as well, of course. And I think the hardest part was just sort of not knowing and trying to relay that information to family and friends who were worried and waiting for us to come home and try to reassure them that, hey, you know, there's, again, there's a lot of people, there's, there's an army of people working on a plan and, and going to be getting us home at the right time on the right spacecraft. So I think that was just the hardest thing to convince them. And I think one of the ways that I was successful is I started writing a journal and showing them or telling them all about what was going on. And then I started bringing them along with me and then that sort of turned the tide for me.